And he said that his wife doesn't pray. And she left prayer, I think, a week or a month ago. And she said that she prayed to Allah, but Allah did not answer her um, prayer. So she abandoned prayer. If you're, you're talking about the five daily prayers, Ya Abdul Qadir, then there is a big problem. Because the Prophet said, alayhi salatu uh, uh, he said that the pledge between us, the Muslims, and them, the disbelievers, is prayer. Whoever abandons prayer, he has committed an act of kufr. And in Sahih Muslim, the Prophet said, alayhi salatu wasallam, between man and disbelief or associating others with Allah is the only thing that divides him uh, uh, and separates him from uh, kufr and shirk is abandoning salat. Abu Dawood added, so whoever abandons it, he has become a kafir. Faqad kafar. Therefore, if your wife doesn't pray the five daily prayers and she confesses, she admits, she doesn't say, yes, yes, I prayed. This is different because you're not 24 7 with her you go to the bathroom she could have prayed you go out to the masjid she could have prayed but if she says no i will not pray i asked allah Azza wa Jal for uh, five years to do something for me and he didn't do that for me so i'm not praying at all then this is a problem you should uh, uh, advise her you should be strict with her and if she insists you should divorce her because she's not a Muslim anymore and you cannot remain married to such a person. But if she is talking about supplicating, which is a prayer, making dua, invoking Allah Azza wa Jal, she said, I'm not going to invoke Allah, this is a major sin. But she's still a Muslim, she has to be uh, taught properly uh, in the right uh, way. She has to adhere to the fact that she is a slave. She is a servant of Allah Azza wa Jal. She's not talking to a peer of hers. When you ask Allah, oh Allah, give me this and Allah doesn't give me that, I'm not going to pray anymore. What, what is this? Do you think you have the ability to take a breath without Allah's permission? Do you think you can go to the bathroom and answer the call of nature if Allah does not allow you to? Are you insane? A single mosquito bite would put you in bed for Allah knows how long. Didn't you hear of Ebola? Didn't you hear of, of, of Mars or SARS or what, uh, Corona? All these illnesses, all these problems, all this hunger, all these thirst, all these blessings of Allah Azza wa Jal. It's all from Allah. And you think that you can address Allah Azza wa Jal as you address your friend or your colleague? Then definitely you're not a Muslim. Come back to your senses and know that you are here to be tested and tried. And if you fail, you go to hell straight for eternity. But if you pass, then Allah, and you're patient and tolerant, and you are submissive to Allah, and you show your humility, Allah Azza wa Jal, when He wills it, and when He sees that there is good for you in it, He will answer your call.